Hello everyone. Hope everybody's doing good today. My wife and I had to do some running today. We went to Sioux City. Had to run the veterinarian clinic, pick up some medicines for our dog, flea and tick medicine, heart guard. Um, we ran to Walgreens to pharmacy and picked up eye drops for our blind dog, Slina. And went to the grocery store, picked up some milk and some bread. And uh, then we come home, talked to my mom a little bit, and told her that they're having a couple comedians at Buffalo Joe's, which is a local restaurant in Smithland. And so she decided to pick me and my wife up, her and my stepdad did. And we went up to watch the comedians and eat supper. Had a couple of my mom's friends happen to come in. They sat by us and we sat and visited and ate. And then we listened to the comedians. So I just got home, so that's why it's so late me getting this video posted. So that's two night in a row that we've got to go out and eat and visit. So last night was with friends and tonight was with family. Well, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to add a couple clips to the two comedians so you can hear them a little bit. You really couldn't see them because it's far away and the light was glaring. They just look like a glow in the back of the video, but the place is packed. Well, see y'all later. And don't forget I love you. Bye. I had an older guy message me and tell me I look like a husky Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> no woman's ever said that to me before. But I've had several old guys at the end of a bar with a bush hat. They'd be like, anybody ever tell you you look like Chunky Ashton? And I get all excited when they find it. Uh, here, I think I get that comparison sometimes. Here's the thing, I'm, I'm an overweight guy. I mean, I probably weigh 315 pounds. Uh, that's one thing about a fat guy is they always know exactly how much they weigh. Uh, just ask them. Enough about my weight. <laughs> uh, but I'm a fat guy. Uh, but I have a confusingly good jawline. That's the only cocky thing you'll hear me say that. Like here on down, 300 pounds. Here up, 185 pounds. Chisel. Oh yeah, high school athlete, the heyday. I suck all that. It confuses people. What confuses people more in that good jawline is I drive a Toyota Yaris. Uh, if you don't know what Toyota Yaris is, it's like the size of a Prius, maybe smaller. Uh, but it's a Toyota it's for poor people. Uh, Prius is made by Toyota, isn't it? Yeah. That's a joke. I'll have to rethink. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I drive, it's a two-door compact car. It is so small, like it is tiny. And I cram in that and I drive everywhere. Uh, and when you see me, I confuse people in the city, I think, because they see me only chest up. You see me and they're like, uh, they see just this jawline and they think, oh, little old suburbs guy, works at the cubicle, headed to the office, cares about the economy. And then I get out of that little compact car and you see the rest of me. And an old man at Baumgart yells, Big son of a bitch! <laughs> That's a big dude. I do, I, I'm crammed in that Yaris. I'm so small in it. Uh, and when, when I went to get it, when I tested It's not easy to look out of the crowd and see a lot of people you know. He has a babysitter here who beat his ass when he was a kid and shit. So come on. That normally doesn't happen. It can throw you off. All right, thanks for coming out. Smithland. I appreciate everybody being here. I don't like leaving the house. I don't. There will be days I'll be sitting on the couch and my wife will go, you just going to sit there all day? Wow. I hope so. I don't like that. I don't want to do shit. All right, strong start here. It's good. Right out of the gate. Oh, I'm lazy. I'll ask her to hand me the remote. What's up, Joe? I'll ask her to hand me the remote. I think that's the laziest question you can ask someone. You're like, you mind? There was once we were both sitting in the living room. And I was like, hey, can you hear me the remote? She goes, I think it's in the kitchen. Yeah, still. Do you mind? Do we get the kids? What